Hey, this is gonna be a relatively short what's sold video. I'm gonna show you the highlights of what is selling the absolute best and what's selling for the most money. I readjusted back to doing a very strict quick flip business model and it paid off immediately. My sales have really uh, escalated and I'm making many, many sales daily and if I were to show you everything, it would just take too long. This is a very, very high-end brand. It's my first time finding it. I've always wanted to find it. My reseller instincts told me I should price this at 50 or higher, but my brain told me price it low. Priced it at 35. Someone paid 35 plus shipping on top of it on Poshmark for it, and it sold same day. In my last video, I was discussing pricing a Robert Graham shirt low in a way that was emotionally uh, painful for me on some level, and this is an illustration of why that's a good thing to do. So it flipped, I think same day on Poshmark for 20 bucks plus shipping. And it hurt to list it that low a little bit, but I'm glad that I did, I don't regret it at all. This is the first Viore piece that I ever found. Flipped it for 60 bucks, it's used. Untuck It is back. The dress shirts might sell just a little bit slowly but the casual shirts are selling great for me. 100% linen stuff selling great. These polo shirts and t-shirts are selling almost immediately. If you can find Quicksilver Amphibian board shorts slash hybrid shorts for cheap, I would pick them up and flip them. I'm not gonna bother to show you the other ones, but there are three or four other amphibians that have flipped. And it seems to be the strongest contender in the really basic everyday board short category. Travis Matthews been doing quite well for me. This sold for 38. It's a new with tags shirt. My Travis Matthew polo shirts are not moving and I suspect I've just overpriced them. So I'm gonna have to go back and edit. Really solid brand. A new entrant into my buy on site brands mental list. I keep finding it a lot in my thrifts. I don't know why. But everything that I've listed has sold assuming that I, I price it low. This is a rare brand from New York. I don't know why it's so expensive, but this flipped really quickly for 35. Here's another Viore piece. I have a couple more I'm not going to show you, but anything Viore, anything with this tag, just pick it up and flip it. People are willing to spend a lot of money on it, even if it's used. This one I just looked up in the thrift. This is my first time finding it. It's sold overnight. It actually sold over the course of me shooting this video uh, for 30 bucks. Alpha Elite. Mentioned in a previous video at some point that 100% linen shirts from relatively undesirable brands, Saks Fifth Avenue being among those, are going to be good sellers. I didn't expect this to flip quite so quickly. It flipped same day. I think it flipped within two hours of listing it. I'm calling open season on this brand, Pelagic. They're a deep sea fishing brand that does really uh, way overpriced board shorts and t-shirts. Anything Pelagic, I would just buy it, flip it especially the board shorts. Uh, I got a big windfall of, I think, eight to ten of these pelagic board shorts, and they're just just flying out the door. I've found three built t-shirts recently. All of them sold immediately. There's another one of these uh, that's like basically the same thing. Someone came into my store, bundled both of them up together, and bought them, and they flipped within 24 hours. Patagonia shorts right now are as hot as pelagic for me. 35 bucks. There's another pair that sold for 26 that had flaws with it. Um, can't hang on to these for more than a couple days at a time. Interesting brand, first time finding it, first time flipping it. Um, these sold very quickly. This is Zoic, I'll show you the brand tag. Gonna be looking out for this brand in the future. There it is, Zoic. This is one of three such jerseys that I got. It's either a cycling one piece or a triathlon one piece. The other two were quite similar. I think all of them were Pearl Izumi. And got them for six bucks each and just priced them between 30 and 40. And all of them flipped within two days. Vineyard Vines I actually don't particularly like as a reselling brand, despite its popularity on reselling YouTube. This polo shirt was new with tags and I looked up the style code or it, set, it probably just said it on the tag. So I priced this low, 40 bucks, someone grabbed it pretty quick. If you can find these golf shorts from Travis Matthew, they're selling 
like instantaneously. Uh, I can't hang on to these shorts for more than uh, two or three days at a time. I think this pair sold actually within two hours of listing it. This sold within 10 minutes of listing it. I couldn't believe it. I thought that this was a skirt. I got it for free somewhere. I don't remember where. Um, but it's what's called harem pants, which is, as you can see there, it looks like a skirt, but that that bottom is stitched together except for on the sides where there are leg openings. And yeah, I could have priced this up higher, I guess, but got it for free, happy with 25. Solid brand. Got this new with tags for I think uh, five or six bucks. Sold for 29, the used stuff. You're gonna have to price lower. But good bread and butter brand. It's golf wear and uh, pretty popular. Here's a pair of vintage baggy jeans from the 90s. This kind of thing is really popular right now. Baggy jeans, vintage, flip for 35. Same deal, vintage baggy jeans. Levi's 560s, flip for 40. This is part of a fantasy series by Michael Moorcock that is um, pretty rare especially these vintage copies, but talked about a lot. So if you find Elric Saga books, I would just pick them up. This flipped almost right away for 30 bucks. Found that at a library bookstore. Two still factory sealed yoga DVDs that I found at a Goodwill flip for 40 bucks really quickly after I finally listed them. And as I said in the haul video that these were in, these didn't have barcodes on them, which means the Amazon sellers didn't scan them. Pay attention to cycling jerseys. These t-shirt styles, they're gonna end up in the t-shirt or polo shirt section, usually. And I would say about a third of the brands are pretty uh, in, in pretty high demand and some of them sell for a good deal of money. Good example of a quick flip, flip this for 18. It's a sheer t-shirt from Diesel. Diesel, really solid brand, especially if you price it low. Don't remember how much I paid for, these, uh, for this, probably $3. This pair of shorts flipped within a week. Duluth Trading Co., of course, a brand that I love. And these sold for 28, full asking price. Lucky Brand in general is doing surprisingly well, or at least has been. I tend to avoid the more basic pieces, but this Venice Burnout line, for some reason, is in really high demand right now. A pair of North Face belted shorts sold for full asking price, 30 bucks. These kinds of climbing, hiking shorts, technical shorts seem to be pretty popular at the moment. Mizzen and Maine used to be one of the strongest brands in all of clothing retailing. Fell off, but was still able to get an almost instantaneous turnaround on this shirt for 30 bucks. Here's a book that was in a previous video. Spent a dollar on it and flipped it for 15. It's kind of a funny book flip. I found this at a Goodwill for a couple bucks. This is part of a series that this guy, David, uh, Politis, or however it's pronounced, puts out uh, about missing hikers. His basic thesis is Bigfoot and or aliens or alien Bigfoot are kidnapping people. Kind of a kook, kind of uh, an embarrassing kook to me as a fellow Bigfoot believer, don't tell anybody. This is a cycling brand, Rafa really in demand and really expensive, kind of a perfect brand, and I don't anticipate finding it for a while again. Flipped right away for 45 basically as soon as I listed it. Mountain Hardware, decent bread and butter brand. Some of it can be uneven. It's a little bit, for some reason, unpredictable. The, you know, my sell-through metrics for certain brands just doesn't seem to carry the same magic and Mountain Hardware is one of them. I've done decently with it. This is kind of a uh, basic performance t-shirt flip for 20. So I still pick it up when I find it. Yep, one of my favorite brands to find. Outer Known found two of these shirts. One of them sold right away for 32 and a half bucks. This Scully shirt is one of two Scully shirts that I included in a haul video and I said in the haul video that I was going to price them low and a bunch of people came screaming into my comment section to warn me off of doing so. But I priced this at 40 it flipped right away, I was happy with it. It's like a heavy duty western shirt, Flip uh, sent it out priority mail because it was so heavy. And I have another shirt that I priced up 
higher at like 45 or 50 and it's still sitting there of course it will sell but yeah I, i'm happy with 40. spent seven on it the rare shoe sighting on my channel as elusive as bigfoot these days these 511 tactical chukka boots sold to someone got returned and then sold again to someone and both times they flipped within 48 hours of listing them so i would say that's a bolo lululemon men's stuff still holding strong this was a tank top without the size tag in it just estimated it as a large and it flipped for full asking price of 35 it's hard to believe but at the time that was the bottom of the market this lot of three made in maine ll bean shirts sold for 75 and sold i think within a couple weeks ll bean i typically avoid but the made in usa stuff the vintage stuff is a little bit in higher demand this sold for 30 long sleeve shirt i don't buy all harley davidson graphic tees it depends on what's being advertised on this shirt there are location specific shirts it's kind of like hard rock cafe which is actually a decent bolo brand some of those hard rock cafe t-shirts are um, a little bit rarer and can sell for decent money and harley davidson it's a little bit easier to pull off than Hard Rock Cafe in terms of flipping. Some stuff rarer than other stuff. I think I bought this for less than five and I looked up what was ever, whatever was happening here, the Bakersfield deal. And I didn't realize at the time it was like Merle Haggard themed. So people want that specific one. So it flipped for 30. All right, I, this might've been in the last what sold video. I don't recall, but uh, all right stuff. I just, I pick up whenever I find it. These polo shirts do pretty well. This is my pair of waders that had severe leaks. The legs filled up with water, both legs. Sold almost immediately when I listed it for 45 bucks. I think I listed it at 60 or something just to see if anybody wanted them. Sims is a really, really strong brand. And based on the strength of this sale, um, unexpectedly quick, I would say if you find Sims waders, they're probably worth picking up because someone was willing to jump on this. So if you can find them for 20 bucks or less, I would say probably worth the risk. Here's a Spanish uh, cookbook that I mistakenly said was Italian for some reason in the video that this was featured in. It took me forever to list, but it sold same week for 45 bucks. Another one that the Amazon sellers passed up on, I think, just because it didn't have a barcode or didn't strike their eyes, something that might be valuable, but old cookbooks, antique cookbooks especially, can be worth a lot of money, and antique cookbooks are uh, really popular. I watched a video from an appraiser of old books, and she said that antique cookbooks are like the top selling genre of antique book. An Orvis denim button-down shirt flipped for 36 bucks. Orvis, I keep saying this, they, it keeps coming up in my videos, I keep buying Orvis and I have all these provisos for buying Orvis, but somehow I still buy it all the time. But this is one such contemporary piece that I'm, I'm willing to buy, uh, the denim shirts. Found this at a Salvation Army for a buck. It's a rare Power Rangers CD, I just threw it up at 20, see if someone wanted it, someone jumped on it right away. Another pair of climbing shorts or hiking shorts that sold for 40 bucks, Grimici. Pretty expensive brand. These hiking shorts are popular. A mismatched pair of Hanro of Switzerland pajamas. Different sizes, top and bottom, and I don't think originally went together at all. But sold as a set for 35. Hanro of Switzerland pajamas are really popular. It's a pair of Prana Breon walk shorts. Again, sorry if this is redundant with the last video. I don't remember if it is or not, but just uh, another brand that's good to be on the lookout for in terms of these hiking slash athletic Bermuda type shorts. Prana men's shorts seem to be doing great. So there were a lot of other sales. Sales have been way up. A lot of it was redundant with those brands. Some of it was just less interesting or, or a little bit riskier. Um, you'll notice not a lot of big slam dunk high dollar sales, which is perfectly fine with me and is in keeping with the, the quick flip stuff. Every time I refocus on quick flipping, this happens. I just start just uh, evacuating the stuff out the door. So if you don't know what you're looking for in terms of high sell-through clothing, I have a product called the Menswear Manifesto. There's a link in the bio. It's available for free. 
slash pay what you want. So if it's something that you think you're gonna get value out of, or if you eventually do get value out of, I just ask that you kick me back a little something or other. And it's a breakdown of 215 men's clothing brands organized by sell-through rate and uh, also organized internally to each brand along the lines of what categories in each brand were selling at the time that I made the thing. So a lot of it is, is still perfectly relevant. So check that out. And thanks for watching.